One of the best plays to jump into in a two-minute offense and it'll shred every zone in the, in the game. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss a upload. All right, so guys, we're going to be once again jumping back into the Cowboys playbook. I've got a, a master scheme uh, that is actually online on my Patreon account. Five different formations, 20 different plays. Uh, this is actually a play that I'm going to be going ahead and, and adding to my second edition of this, uh, this uh, playbook. Uh, primarily because of such the how effective this play is uh, and it's very good against anybody that runs a lot of zone coverages which you'll see a lot online um, in regs and in and, and, uh, mutt and whatnot so uh, you can find this obviously in the Cowboys but you can also find it in the Ravens the Bills the Patriots the Broncos and the Seahawks uh, but what's actually kind of cool about this particular play is that the fade smash you can actually find variations of this in other types of playbooks too uh, that are just as a, are designed the same way. So the Steelers pistols a doubles Y off has got the same version of this play. Um, also the uh, the Colts uh, pistol uh, doubles wide off. So the doubles wide off uh, you can you can find this pretty much in a lot of other playbooks. I would stay away from um, the the uh, the fade smash over here, which actually is a, that's been broken down before. It's, a, it's kind of a glitchy route, but um, yeah, you can find this pretty much in a lot of other playbooks. So I'd go ahead and go to maddenfocus.com and see if it's available to you. This is a quick hiker's dream. Uh, it's very easy. One quick adjustment as you come up to the line of scrimmage and you just go ahead and snap the ball and make your reads from there and you can get 20 yards plus across the field um, with uh, three of the routes uh, of the five that are getting sent out. All right, so I'm going to run against random cover twos because this is really designed for zone beaters. Uh, and once again, uh, the play that we're going to go ahead and use uh, is going to be this fade smash out of the single back doubles. All right, so with this particular play, what I like to do is I like the following. Um, if you take a look at the play art right now, uh, you got Beasley that's actually on a little hitch route. I don't like the hitch route. I want to get Beasley on a sideline so that it gives me a read off the left-hand side. I want that defensive back to actually come down and play Beasley, and it's going to expose a seam where Cooper's at, or if he, if the defensive, defensive back that plays Beasley comes down, Cooper's going to be open for a 20-yard gainer. Now, if the defender floats away from Beasley, I can drop it down to Beasley for an easy 5-yard completion, or I can go ahead and look to Schwamm or Williams. Now, cover 2, Schwamm should be covered up. He's going to be covered by a defender. Um, but Williams, for some particular reason against cover two, that, that post route gets wide open. So we're going to watch Cooper at first, see if he actually gets any kind of release. I can drop it down to this guy and force my opponent to go ahead and uh, depend, defend that little five-yard uh, uh, whip route. Let's come back to this again. We're going to go ahead and whip up uh, a Beasley and watch as you can see now this is where the play gets great I'm doing possession catch because I want to show you that I can catch the ball but a lot of times I'll rack it and uh, this is where this is really good against cover two and if you actually you can set your opponent up for an easy completion so what happens is this defender actually plays down and he actually has to play um, this Beasley right here and I'm already let going the ball right now so I'm just making a progression if Cooper gets past him this route will be easy for easy completion. So look at this. I'm picking up 10, 20, 25, uh, and that's not even racking it, uh, 25, 30 yards. If you rack this ball and get a spin move, you can go house with this to get an easy 60-yard completion or more. Now, the beautiful thing about this particular play is on the back side. This post route will get separation against these coverages, and I do, I do the same pass lead. I'm doing a pass lead to the left side. Uh, I'm going to be able to go ahead and attack it uh, uh, this left side over here, and he will get past the coverages. So this is a really good play. Let's go ahead and run this against more common uh, setups uh, with, uh, uh, with basically cover two. Now, a lot of people online are going to play this type of coverage. This is a cover, uh, cover two Tampa. They're going to go ahead and take up uh, one of their defensive linemen and actually put him in a spy. And they're going to go ahead and take their middle um, 
uh, a linebacker and put him in a, in a deep blue. And this actually takes away those deep post routes. But because of the way this play is designed, it is designed to beat this type of coverage regardless. You, can, you either got the, the route uh, with Cooper or you've got Williams. Now, one of the tells, too, on how I'm going to go ahead and throw this ball is going to be determined on whether I, got high, I have off coverage or press coverage. Cooper's route generally will not get the separation I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and try to attack that post on the back end side. So we're going to set up this coverage again. So this is what the coverage would look like. And right here you can see this route is easy. Uh, to go ahead and attack it. So it's going to take away the, your opponent's user if he uses cover two shell. So this is a cover two destroyer. So let's go ahead and run and run this against cover three. Now I'm going to run this against random cover threes. I don't know what type of uh, coverages the computer's coming out. But once again, I'm going to go ahead and whip up Beasley, Cooper, uh, and then I've got uh, basically the drop, the uh, the release uh, with Elliot. Um, really what I'm going to be looking for against cover three shells is going to be looking for the two post routes. One of the two is going to get wide open against cover three. So if I see a, a single high safety, um, I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to be looking off to the right side of the field. I'm going to go ahead and whip up Beasley. Look to the routes. Now you can see right here, this route actually gets picked up. And that's one of the things you can see against cover three. So uh, I'm going to watch these progressions right here. Uh, Beasley's wide open, but my seam route isn't. So I can drop it down to Beasley. He's going to get closed up pretty quick because we got defenders. Now here's something I noticed with the coverages if, the, if your opponent plays him stock. This, this guy right here is going to come down for some particular reason in a cover three shell and place somebody down here in the area, leaving this post um, actually wide open for an easy completion. And that's another 25-yard gainer with your, your tight end. He's going to have to use that area of the field. If he uses that area of the field, this check down right here, the running back will be wide open where you can actually go ahead and rack that for maybe about a 10-yard gainer. And then the back end side, this post is going to be wide open too uh, for an easy completion. A lot of times what people players are going to do is they're going to use over the top coverage with a cover three shell and they're going to spy up uh, their uh, linemen and actually go ahead and take away the run uh, with the particular play. So we got over the top coverage and we're going to make our progressions from there. So we're going to whip, whip up Beasley, give us that read right there, look for the line. And as you can see right here, this tight end still gets open on, underneath that route. He's still going to get open. He's going to make uh, he's going to make some separation, even against over the top coverage. You see, he's wide open. And the backside, the, if this guy gets a matching principle, he's going to get open too, uh, because this defender actually comes down and plays it. So you're going to have both those areas. And then on top of it, you've got the little whip route you can check down to, and you also have got um, your your route uh, that most likely, if he's using uh, a, a defender, this route will be open for you to check down to. So one of the most popular defenses online uh, is uh, actually cover four drop. Uh, this is a very common play that a lot of players use. Uh, they use this for, for the run fits. Uh, they'll bring uh, these safeties down for the run fits and the, the essentially what they'll do is they're gonna go ahead and use her, uh, one of these um, uh, say, uh, uh, guys over the middle. Uh, the, the linebackers to go ahead and take away any kind of uh, route. So uh, this is a very frustrating defense to go and play against, but what's cool about this, this, this play, this play will eat this up, and you're going to have pr pretty much the same type of opportunities with Schwamm and Williams. Uh, and if they don't defend Cooper's route, you can actually go ahead and get that easy route too. So really what the, tr the trick too is actually hitting the seam quick enough. Got the defense set up. Quick little uh, with Beasley, go ahead and put him in a whip. And we're just going to go ahead and just take a nice little possession catch right there. Now, right now, the safety is actually popping my wide receiver. This wide receiver can't hold on to it. So if you want to have a better, uh, if you're going against somebody who's got a really good safety, you might want to put a better um, wide receiver on the back end side. I have not had Williams catch one ball yet because the, uh, the safety is actually going ahead and just smashing him. Uh, so, but right here, see, he holds on to the ball right there, and that post will be wide open. 
Uh, so cover four is going to bottle this up a little bit more. But if a guy's user and he's going to be probably moving all over the field, so that whip route, uh, that uh, that route, that uh, the route underneath is probably going to get some separation. Uh, and then obviously you've got this too. Uh, if he doesn't drop his guys down, you've got Schwam in the back inside. So guys, if you like these tips. Make sure you hit that like button. Once again, to my subscribers, thank for your support. My patrons, thank for your support. And until next time.